Police officers in the area have been serving the public at the checkpoint since 1998. The checkpoint was previously used as a veterinary control point and tourism concession area without accommodation and office facilities. Funds were then made available to prefabricate the structures for barracks, charge office, solar-powered borehole, septic tank and water stand. Inoculation of a police post or a police station is more than a ceremonial event as it marks the embodiment of our commitment to the well-being of our citizens and of our people. It stands as a symbol of unwavering determination to ensure a safer and a secure environment who is all for our people, for everyone who resides in this area. That includes people who are working here and the visitors to our country. Six police officers will be stationed at the premises in a vehicle to enable mobility to respond to emergencies. Lieutenant General Shikongo also announced that the police are undertaking regional transfers and new appointment of officers. This aims to enhance police services to the communities. We are doing the country transfer because your service will be will be will go where it is required. Yeah? In Parilla Island, Okangwati, we are going to do that. This issue of people coming, I'm going to run to my lawyer. Is some of the past. Please tell your lawyer to be ready. The inspector general is ready for them. Because if I look into the document you signed when you joined the force, you declare and you affirm that I'm going to serve the Republic of Namibia where my services are required. And that is the principle that we are going to carry throughout. Learned to build the police station was availed by the Kasauna and Daure Daman traditional authorities. Says Fontaine's constituency is home to over 8,000 inhabitants.